What's going on YouTube? Champion Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Barricade. This is actually the first Decepticon I, I'm reviewing from the Studio Series toy line. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and set Barricade off to the side and take a quick look at his packaging. Um, for the packaging, you got a picture of Barricade, which I believe was... Uh, um, this is the same box art that they used on the original packaging for the toy that came out in 2007. Um, but you got, uh, it says that he's figure 28, Studio Series Barricade Transformers, um, Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy, Hasbro. Um, here on the side you got another picture of Barricade 28, Studio Series Deluxe Class. Uh, come around to this side, we got a picture, which I know they definitely use on the original box uh, for the toy, like the original toy that came out in 2007. Uh, you got a little clear piece for the Autobot insignia. Come around to the top, Transformers. Come around to the back. You got a picture of Barricade in his robot mode, his vehicle mode. It states that this is based on the police chase scene, or at least his background's um, based on that scene. Um, big screen inspired, scale detail backdrop. Uh, he's got a little bio down here. My camera would focus. Barricade launches into high speed pursuit. Optics set on username ladiesman217. Uh, it says uh, he transforms in 20 steps. Um, Celine, officially licensed product by Ford. Included backdrop, you know. Um, so, yeah. You got your basic Studio Series stuff. Um, his backdrop is, again, based on that scene where in the 2007 movie, Bumblebee and Barricade had their first battle. Um, so as you can see, uh, you got Studio Series, Transformers, all your stuff going on there. He does come with one accessory, that being his uh, mace weapon. You know, it's okay. I honestly think they could have done this a little bit better. or They could have done something different. Um, it spins... Um, that's just really it. There is no paint detail. It's just, and it's made of this rubbery plastic as well. So, I mean, it's just, and uh, this is like a harder plastic, but these spikes are more rubber, like plastic, more of a rubberish plastic. Eh, it's okay. I kind of wish they included a frenzy because he was sort of his sidekick, uh, barricade sidekick in the film. And then he does come with his instruction manuals, which are rather hard to re read if you don't have enough lighting. So, yeah, with all that um, set to the side, let's go ahead and bring Barricade back into view. And here he is in his police car alt mode. And um, this is very nice. I really do like this. Uh, this is a very good looking um, police car mode. Now, I will say that once I got this figure and I got him out of the box, it took me forever to figure out how he transformed. It's, it's a very fiddly transformation. But with practice you'll figure it out it's just one of those things where you really just got to teach yourself how to transform it properly and it's just something that you really just takes practice um and I'll, I'll talk about it later during the transformation to robot mode but taking a look at the details here um yeah he's got a lot of nice details got some silver paint there in the lights there the actual headlights aren't painted but that's okay i can I, i'd imagine there's some people that could just take some silver um sharpie on that um i'm not going to i don't usually customize my figures like that um we got the police emblem try to focus in on that we got police with the decepticon emblem we got police written in silver um six eight or six four three um, up there, 643, to punish and enslave on the side, and it says emergency 911. Celine, got some red painted taillights, and then all the other windshields and stuff are all clear plastic. Then we got the um, light bar on top, which is just painted uh, with some red and blue paint. Uh, you can store his weapon in. You can store his weapon in vehicle mode. You just take this section, and you just take the weapon, and then you just sort of tab it into place. I do get what they were going for. I honestly do. But it just doesn't work. It, it really... How many police cruisers have you seen driving around with this kind of bumper? He does roll either way with the bumper on or not. With the bumper on or not. It, yeah, I'm just going to take this off. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> So take that off. 
But I mean, overall, it's a very good looking vehicle mode. For size comparisons, let's bring in Deluxe Class Jazz from the Studio Series line. And yeah, these two scale all right with each other. Um, Jazz was um, a lot shorter of a vehicle um, than Barricade, so I do feel like these scale pretty nicely with each other. Um, I do like the cop car or this vehicle, this kind of car being longer than Jazz. Um, for another deluxe class scale size comparison, let's bring in uh, the last night barricade. As you can see, I prefer this version of barricade better, just because this is just it looks a little bit too complex to be a just a natural police cruiser. Um, but yeah, it's just reference point. Um, here is for another studio series size comparison, Voyager class Optimus, like the original number five Voyager class Optimus, and as you can see. Obviously, Barricade is quite a bit shorter. Um, let's bring in Jetfire. Um, Jetfire is obviously quite longer. Um, quite a bit longer. So, yeah. That's all there is for size comparisons. Let's get him into his robot mode. So, the transformation uh, into robot mode is actually quite interesting. It's in very involved for a deluxe class figure. So what we're going to do is come around to the back here, untab the bumper, and then we're just going to untab the back section here, and just untab it, and you sort of just got to fiddle with it and hinge everything out, and then it will untab from the rest of the car. And then I'm just going to keep that tabbed into place so I can show you something. Um, but just fiddle with that, and then that will come untabbed just like so. And then, for those of you trying to get him into vehicle mode, this is the orientation you want the legs to be in. There is a peg hole right there on his thigh. And there is a peg right there on the inside of the arm, right there. You've got to line that up perfectly. And if you don't, it's going to push the legs down and it's just, trust me, it's just a fiddly transformation into vehicle mode. Then what we can do from there is take this whole front section here with the hood, take that and just fold this down. Then we can go ahead and take the legs, we can split them, then take the um, back bumper area, fold that up, and then we can fold his feet down. So just sort of fold his feet down, just like so. Straighten out his legs, just like so. Then we can straighten out the arms, or what will be the arms anyway. Then we come around to the back section here, and we're going to take this police area that has the this uh, 643 section that has the police bar on it, the light bar. Uh, we're just going to take that, and we're going to take this hood section as well. This is sort of a tricky part. you got to rotate it over, rotate these pieces around so that they collapse, just like so. And then that all sort of collapses into place. Then uh, there is a tab right here and a tab hole right there. Um, show that a little bit better there's a tab right there and then there's a tab hole right there and you're just want going to want those two pieces of tab into place just like so once you do that you can go ahead and fold out the hands or on the inside of these um, back windscreen pieces or windshield pieces uh, just untab that just like so and then we can fold these sections up and these will form the hands just like so. Then we take these sections here, um, pull those down a little bit, and then we angle them up, and that will that will complete the chest area um, section, sort of how the movie design had it. Um, go ahead and open up the hands, and then this is the neat part. Um, we can take these sections here and fold them up. Now, unfortunately, they don't tab into place or anything, but it does help with the aesthetic in the robot mode. So just take this section here, fold it up, and then uh, that will just rest. Like I said, it doesn't tab in. Then we can take the robot head, pull that out, situate the figure as such, sort of bend the arms a little bit. Then after all that, do a quick spin around. Make sure you got everything transformed properly. Straighten that out. After all that, here we have a Studio Series a Deluxe Class Barricade in his robot mode. And oh my goodness, this is a 
great rendition of what we got in the movie. I absolutely love this robot mode. And, oh, I forgot to fold these back. So these, these little windscreen sections just fold back. And for whatever reason, that doesn't want to stay tabbed in too securely. So you just fold those back. But wow, this is just an astonishing robot mode. Let's come in and take a closer look at some of these details here. Um, got some nice silver paint on the feet there. A lot of nice molded in detail, although it is a little bit lost in the black plastic. Um, got some nice details in there on the hands. You can tell where the joints are in the fingers. Um, some nice details throughout the whole figure itself. And then got some little paint details in there. And then the head sculpt is done phenom just, just amazingly. It's a awesome looking head sculpt. Uh, you can sort of see in there all he has all four eyes. Um, you can sort of see it in there. Um, but there are four eyes and it's got some nice gold, some silver uh, paint on it. It's got a little bit of blue paint on the crest up there on the top of his head. Don't know what you really call that. Um, but yeah, just a very overall very very nice figure and I really do like him. Um, he can hold his weapon. Uh, he can hold this little spike thing of death. Um, so what you're going to do is just take his hand and you're just going to put it in the peg hole in his hand and then squeeze his hand together. Um, it's okay. Um, it's just, I kind of wish they incorporated a different way to, incorporated a different way to, um, for him to hold this because it just sort of looks like he's holding a gun but then it's got a spike thing on the front of it i really just don't understand it but i mean i i i do understand the weapon the whole deal because he had the chain spike thing he did use that weapon in the movie but i mean just not really that just the way they did it i feel like it could have been executed a little bit better um i'm sure there are going to be like third party um, upgrade kits for his weapons and whatnot. Like maybe they'll make a frenzy or something like that. I, mean, I could be totally wrong, but um, that'd be kind of nice. For articulation, he's got a ball joint in the head, so he's got a good range of movement going on in the head. Um, can look up, can look down. Uh, got 360 rotation in the head. Uh, these little rubber, these little door wing bits at the back here are made of rubber, so I guess you can sort of count that as posability, but. Yeah. Um, he's got a ball joint in the shoulder, so that allows a 360 rotation. And then you sort of got a butterfly joint there. Um, so you can sort of get some different movement going on with that. He can move outward at the shoulder, although it's not a whole lot of movement going on. Um, you do have the hinge from the transformation. Um, I'm really glad they added that in, because if they were to leave it like that, that would just look awful. It, I'm just so glad that they added it in. Um... Although it does not tap in, that's quite unfortunate. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm glad they added it anyway, although it doesn't tap into place. You do have a swivel joint right there, um, so you can get um, some side-to-side -side swivel. Um, that's probably why it doesn't tap into place. So um, yeah, you got a swivel joint there. You got a bend at the elbow. Um, his hand does open up and you can close it. Although it's not a whole lot of movement on this hand, but on this hand, it's like a whole different story. Like, he can open up his hand so much wider. I, I don't know why that is. Um, there doesn't seem to be any molding differences in between the two hands. It, that just is what it is. Um, you do have a ball joint in the hip, so he can sort of kick outwards. Um, he can kick backwards, although it is blocked by the this little section back here and he can kick forwards he's got two joints at the thigh and at the knee so you can definitely get some um, dynamic poses with that um, it just depends on which joint you want to use um, and then this is one problem I have in the robot mode um, is that this section back here is way too loose I, I really do wish they made like a little tab right on the back here so these sections tab in because like it just causes a stability issue with the figure so like if I stand him up real quick and then like see these sections just fold up it, it's 
it's not a huge deal. I can deal with it. I'm, I'm, I can look past that, but I, it's, it is sort of annoying, um, especially because I'll probably use this guy in a few stop motion animations. That's probably going to get in the way. Um, but yeah, you do have a hinge joint at the knee here, um, or not at the knee, at the foot. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, for a deluxe class figure, he has got quite a bit of articulation. He looks amazing and. I just really do like this dude. I, I like his overall aesthetic. I love this menacing, um, this menacing four-eyed uh, head sculpt he's got going on. It's just a very good-looking uh, uh, figure. So for size comparisons, um, get this situated. All right. So for size comparisons, let's bring in Studio Series Deluxe Class Jazz, which. Yep. Um, as you can see, Jazz has grown a lot in height, um, but I think Barricade's just like a little bit taller. Um, granted, he doesn't fall over. So, Barricade's just a little bit taller, which that, in my opinion, that's how it should be. Um, let's bring in Transformers Last Night Barricade, and. I'm going to be honest with you, Transformers Last Night Barricade, it's just, uh, I much prefer this version better, it's a lot more, it's just a lot cooler looking robot opposed to that, plus he wears the entire top of his car on his back, just, yeah, I love this figure, it's, it's a great deluxe class figure, this figure far superior than the Transformers Last Night Barricade, um, here is Studio Series number 5 Optimus, and I do not have these transformed correct. Sorry. Um, but I, I do like this scale. Barricade uh, compared to Optimus here. Um, Optimus should be a good bit taller since he's a Peterbilt semi-truck in vehicle mode. I do like that size scale there. And then let's bring in his former Decepticon comrade, Jetfire. And this scale works for me. <laughs> Jetfire just towers over Barricade. Um, but yeah, I do like that scale is a lot better. But, um, yeah, it, do I recommend Studio Series Barricade? At the end of the day, yes, I absolutely love this figure. I don't know why, I just do. This is a just wicked looking character, um, and I really do like him. Maybe that's just personal preference, but if you can get this figure, I do recommend it. The transformation in the vehicle mode is fiddly. You have to practice with it, so don't get frustrated. If you pick this figure up and you can't get it on the first try, I had that exact same issue. I had to keep fiddling and fiddling and fiddling with it until I got it into alt mode and, or into vehicle mode, and then I was like, okay, I know what I need to do now. So it's just a, it's just practice. That's the best way you can get them into vehicle mode is just by sitting down, going through the transformation slowly, and figuring it out. But, I mean, other than that, this is a phenomenal figure, and I highly do recommend picking him up if you can. But, guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this review. If so, be sure to click like, comment what you think of uh, Studio Series Barricade in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champion Productions, signing off.